Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my channel Tech with Eddie which is all about integrating cheap IoT devices with your favorite home automation ecosystem. My videos is all about using simplified installation step-by-step -step guides with platforms like Hoops or Homebridge to integrate devices from Xiaomi, Xiaomi Smart, SmartThings, Yi Light or Smornoff. The most important thing here is to get the same rich home automation experience by spending less. And you all have seen that in my past videos. If you haven't, please do. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Anyways, I have seen in multiple home automation forums a very common question on how to extract a Xiaomi token. And there are a lot of information available online. But what if you're new to home automation DIY? Or like me, a noob? It is very overwhelming. It is quite frustrating to follow that step-by-step -step guide. Uh, you go to this link, you go to that link, and at the end, it just doesn't work. So much so you get frustrated, and you know what you say? Screw this, I don't wanna do this anymore. Well, guess what? In today's video, we will simplify that process to extract a Xiaomi token in seven steps using just your PC or Mac. No lines of codes or commands, just your PC or Mac with a couple of uh, free softwares. Uh, we will extract the token and also test it with a Xiaomi device just to make sure it all works well correctly. Okay, now what we will need. The first thing very important is the Mi Ohm app. Within this app, you have to ensure all of your devices are already installed, having and using reserved IP addresses. Very important and is the key to using the tokens when you configure your plugins. Because if there's a variable in your IPs, the tokens don't work, okay? So number one, Mi Home app, install all of your devices with reserved IP addresses. And also, when you're in this Mi Home app, make sure you know your profile ID number. Number two, you will need a free uh, application that's the iBackup Viewer. I've got the link uh, in, the video, uh, in the video description. Number three, you will need uh, the SQL Lite uh, software as well. That's also in the description. Four, and most importantly, your preferred uh, platform automation. In my case, it's Hoops. So let's not waste time and uh, let's get into this uh, extraction process, uh, which is not at all stressful and not at all overwhelming okay let's deep dive into it so what you want to do is first is open up your itunes and make sure your iphone is connected and hit on the uh, sync settings and over here you want to uh, do a backup okay and make sure it's encrypted very important all your backups need to be encrypted okay 101 do not have unencrypted backups all right so let's do a backup once the backup is completed the next step is to open i backup viewer it will automatically scan for a backup and uh, you want to access it so use the same encrypted password continue Next you want to do is, is click on this icon over here called raw files and you want to change the view to tree and you want to scroll down under the app domain dot Xiaomi. So let's scroll down. Here's it. You want to click on it. And within this folder, there are two subfolders. The folder we need to access is documents. And as I had mentioned earlier, you need to look for a file that ends with SQLite and starts with your user ID. 
very important needs this file houses all of your token information device id model uh, and the ip okay so this one is a very important file that has all of the information let's select it and click on export okay i'm going to save it within my downloads with the same file that's my user id mehome.sqlite save the next app you want to open is the db browser for sqlite you want to click on open database which i have already done and here you want to type select space z name comma z model comma z local ip comma z token from z device and let's click on the execute button so if you see over here we've got all of the devices which are 19 in total that i've installed in my me home app together with the name the model these are the two values that you've already populated in the app with its ip and the token now mind you this token is um, 92 characters and we will need to downgrade it to uh, 32 token okay so uh, to do that the next step is you got to extract all of this information to a dot csv file very simple click over here export to csv field separator leave all the information as it is column names in first line so you get all of the information on top say save and we're going to this is a xiaomi hit save okay so let's go to our downloads folder and on this file over here we'll click open in excel So we've got all the information over here, but we need to uh, format this table. So let's highlight the first column. Uh, you'll need a little bit of uh, Excel skills, but we can go that we can go with that over here. Text to column. Hit next. We want to click on comma. That was a separator when we exported the file. Next. Finish. So let's click on all of the columns. Now, this is all of the information that's been extracted. I'll create one more token. I'll create one more column called token. Okay. This is where we're going to keep the 32 string token. And I'll be looking up for this device because that's what I have connected right now for uh, testing purpose. And I'm going to copy all of the value over here. Very important uh, it, uh, and, and, and it's a best practice. Save this file in some location just in case in the future you need to uh, revisit or check some uh, values instead of doing all of this process that we have done till now. So it will simplify uh, your future use uh, if you save this file. Okay. So let's copy this file. Let's go open our browser and this is the first link that i have pasted in the description where we will convert this 92 character into a 32 character so we're going to paste here okay it's automated as uh, hex uh, function we're going to leave it as aes mode ecb and the key you're going to type here 32 times the value zero Then we're going to click on hex and we're going to say decrypt okay so basically what is done it has converted the information to a 32-bit string and we're going to copy this value over here 
Now, if you've noticed, it's in a table format. If you are to copy this and paste it in your plugin, you'll need to hit backspace and reformat the whole thing. But to fix this, uh, we've got to go to the last web page. Just going to copy over here. We're going to this link, which is again in the description. And we're going to paste the value. And we're going to say remove all spaces. There you are. That's the 32 token that you're looking for with that Xiaomi uh, device that I had selected. So I'm just going to copy this. Go to go to my Excel file. And in my token column, I'm going to paste it. You can do this for all of the devices uh, that you have in your Mi Home app. Okay. In my case, I've got 19. I can do this for all of the devices. But since we are doing this video, I'm going to cut it short. I'm going to focus on this device. And we're going to take this 32 token information and now populate the plugin uh, in our platform. Okay. So to do that, let's go to your preferred platform. In my case, it's Hoops. I'm going to access the dashboard. And I'm going to go to my plugin section and I'm going to type in over here Philips. And scroll all the way down and hit install. Whilst the plugin is installing, uh, you can go to the Hoops plugin section and I've already updated uh, how to get the token information over here so you can consult this as well as uh, if you have the same lighting fixture you can follow these three uh, different uh, types of uh, lighting fixtures okay the smart bulb the table lamp or the ceiling lamp if you go to uh, the home bridge section this is the developer's web page he has also uh, put in the same information but uh, the way he has explained the token is a little bit uh, different and I did try it and I didn't get much success so uh, he's got over here for the Android for an Android device uh, if you're interested you could go over this link as well so let's go back to the dashboard we've seen that the platform has already installed okay so let's configure using the values from the plugin and also the token information that we just extracted so in my case I'm going to select this device type Okay, control C, comma, go to paste, let's go down, so make sure we have no errors. So what I want to do is, I want to go back to my Excel file and get the IP address, which is this, 86.63, 86.63. Six, three and the token so let's go back and let's copy this token information right now before we save this uh, I like to go back to my Apple home app and if you see the lighting fixture is not yet available over here okay in any of my rooms they're not there So let's go back to the web page and let's re let's save and restart the service. So we've got the bridge restarted. Let's go back to the home app. And it should appear over here. There it is. So show controls. So this is the bulb. It has successfully installed. We can increase the intensity. We can change the colors and control the lighting fixture. One good thing about this uh, token extraction is you control the fixture locally. It does not need the internet. Okay, so that's the lighting fixture. Let's go to our configuration. Everything looks good. So finally, there we are collaboratively, we were able to extract the Xiaomi token successfully in seven steps. 
no commands, no additional uh, lines of code. Very simple, very straightforward. And I'm sure you are now going to look for every Xiaomi device in your house to extract the token because it's that easy peasy. Now to keep all of this going and to get fantastic videos and step-by-step -step guides from me, please don't forget to hit this like and subscribe button. That's the real driver, that's the real motivator that keeps me uh, moving forward. And if you're interested to get your own Hoops device, I've left the links in the description so you can get your all-in-one solution and it also helps with the channel. So until the next time, stay safe, have a nice day, bye, ciao, and happy automation.